Okay, welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo uh, commentary on matches you can find on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Paris 2022, in the men's over 100 category between Sen Sen Sengal Adku from Mongolia uh, versus Marty Pumalainen from uh, Finland. So Sen Sen Sengal is uh, in white and Marty is in the blue. One day I'll, f I'll figure out how to pronounce Mongolian names. Over 50% correct. But right now I'm at negative 3,000, so. <laughs> we got a ways to go. All right, well right now, just, uh, we're just getting grips and, uh, oh, it had a bit of a drop. It's kind of a slow, uh, uh, jumping on for the choke, if you were really serious about the choke. Alright, so... The false attack by Marty. I mean, that didn't really have any legitimate chance of throwing anything, so... And... Right now, they've just got their uh, sense sense. Uh, Sengal has got double lapel grip. A lot of times you see that for uh, Tobinagi. Okay. There you see the failed Ipon uh, Seoi attempt. That was a lot better than the first time. You will not probably get penalized for something like that. Does that look like an actual attack? <laughs> now, I wonder how long, uh, long sense sense ago uh, can not attack before he gets penalized. If the next Mate. Yeah, oh, uh, good drop. Very good drop. That, that was very credible. Um, what you saw there was that actually he threw and um, he's sort of going over the top. And that's what that's where he didn't get the throw. Yeah, I knew he would get the, the penalty for not uh, taking any initiative. And uh, the reason why the throw had a hard time is because when you try to launch someone over your head, it's quite difficult. But really, you should be trying to at least go uh, over the shoulder. So that's going to require some more uh, upper body rotational force than just trying to launch uh, a rocket, as it were. <laughs> uh, over 100 pound, uh, over 100 kilogram rocket. <laughs> okay. Still seeing the majority of all offense coming from. Uh, from Marty, so no review. Review of what? Okay, let's uh, maybe we'll zoom this along. So they call the Shido on Marty for something. So now, uh, because of that, whatever it was, Marty is now definitely behind the eight ball, having two Shidos already. He cannot afford to get another one, and there's already a, a, a long one, one minute, 45 seconds left to go. So he has been attacking. Um, so I don't think he's going to get penalized for non-combativity, but there are other th ways that uh, Set Send Sengal uh, can uh, get him into penalty trouble. Okay, so now they're both equally in penalty trouble. Yeah, he, and I think this is the one that's much more significant because, you know, he hasn't done anything about it, and I, I don't know if mentality-wise, okay, oh, here we go. Yeah, Uchimata attempt. Oh, that is a problem. Dropped almost completely unprovoked. I don't think he's got too many more of those left. If uh, if he ch if he does that again, I don't think that the referee is going to give him much leeway to do that. No, no, nice, nice, uh, nice follow up with the second attack. All right, we're going to, no, was it? <laughs> it was way too late. He's grabbing the wrong side. 
I don't know, you're just grabbing anything, but uh, no. I had no chance. Alright, nice foot sweep. Nice second attack. Okay, you can attack him on the knees. Okay. Alright. I feel like... Yeah. No penalty yet, but I, I'd like to see some more urgency coming. You can see him gesturing. Set single. Set send single. In that, uh, yeah, that was a good attack. Good attack. Uh, the Marty's legs were quite wide, so it would make that attack very difficult because the amount of reaching that uh, would have to be done. I think uh, he's really trying to convince the referee that these are not real attacks, that these are just bailouts, so mm, maybe true. Okay, so are we going to see anything from here? No. Okay. So, she's telling the referee, the Finnish referee, to, uh, not referee, referee's telling the Finnish coach to uh, sit down. Uh oh. Second attack? No? Alright, we're into golden score. This is where anything, uh, anything is everything. And, uh, Anything will will get you the win. So this is the quarterfinals. Time to pull out your what I like to go uh, say, uh, bring out your dirtiest of dirty tricks. Get whatever you can. <laughs> oh, get the hold down. Oh no, he rolled out fast. Mm, tough, tough, tough. Not that because he rolled out of it, you didn't have anything. But if you're not that comfortable with the it, then don't waste the energy. Right. You're already rolling into his stomach. Marty does look like he's breathing a bit heavy out of the uh, out of his mouth there, and we're wondering. I'm wondering like how much he's he's really slowed down as his match has progressed. You can see he's holding onto his belt. So surely he's uh, getting pretty tired. I. I don't think that that was a false attack per se. It's just he's tired. <laughs> so what's he can do? There it is. That's the opponent. Yeah. And I, I, this was almost inevitable. You know, you could tell that uh, Marty was getting visibly tired. He's having a, he's having to catch his breath just after a pretty arduous match. And um, you know, let's just have a look at that last sequence there. What what exactly happened? So, um, is a they comes in for the attack. Nothing happens, right? All right. So, in a way, Marty is trying to do an uchimata with the leg through. It's not really gonna work and uh you know sent single sent send single uh reverses it and just just tackles him <laughs> essentially <laughs> hey but that that'll work that'll work right it's not a bear hug throw so uh it's not illegal uh so yeah those are my thoughts on this match if you have your own uh any feedback for me or the channel recommendations you like this please click, uh, click the like button or uh, even better subscribe and until the next match have a great night